Well, the Buffalo Zoo is a popular place, but there's a lot that goes on there that you don't get to see. That is until now. That's right. Two on your sides. Heather Lee is taking us behind the scenes tonight. This time she's getting up close and personal with two of the most popular guests. Of course, we're talking about the polar bears and she's talking about the possibility of baby bears in the future. Hmm. Lunchtime. So lunchtime. Come on in. Welcome to the Arctic Edge. This is Kitchen Central, where the keepers get the grub ready for these two behind the glass. Buffalo's unofficial mascots, Luna, who never seems to shy away from the camera, and Sakari, who kept his distance and couldn't quite keep clean when we visited, but we won't judge. And this is important work in here because nobody likes a, a hungry polar bear. No, polar bears are voracious carnivores. They have to eat a lot of food. Sakari weighs about 900 pounds and eats 30 pounds of raw meat every day. Luna weighs in at almost half that and eats about 20 pounds a day. They also get treats like peanut butter, broth, blood, even jelly. Sakari, we're told, has a bit of a sweet tooth. Luna's more of a savory snack kind of girl. Lard's a favorite. These meatballs on a stick are used as a reward during behavioral training. These are not tricks that the animals are performing. These are trained behaviors that allow the keepers and the veterinarians to look closely at Luna's face, at her teeth, at her mouth, eventually, hopefully, be able to monitor with a stethoscope, maybe, without having to sedate the animal. The gates keep the keeper safe during what's called protected contact. Sakari follows Megan's commands and lays down, puts his paws up, and even sticks out his tongue so she can get a better look and make sure he's healthy. He knows that he's done a good job and will get food when he hears that clicking noise. Luna had a turn too. The bears are kept separate for training, but over the past year or so, they've been spending a lot of time together, if you know what I mean. Is that something that you can kind of coax them along or is it just up to them to do the thing? Well, it's a little bit of nature and it's a little bit of nurture. So polar bears, when they get to be about five, six, seven years old, which is the age that Luna and Sakari are, they're six, um, they reach maturity. Successful breeding can take years and even once they mate, polar bears don't get pregnant immediately. And it's hard to tell once they are pregnant, but the Arctic Edge team is watching and waiting. What this great team of individuals does is they get to know our polar bears. They monitor her behavior very closely. If we see breeding in the spring, we provide her with the opportunity to den up that fall and stay inside if she chooses to. And we keep a very, very close eye on her with camera systems and a variety of different hormonal uh, monitoring that we do. So who knows? Maybe we'll see a polar bear cub or two in the future. Aw, wouldn't that be nice? What a great assignment that is. Too, huh? <laughs> yeah. I don't know that I would want to be, you know, intruding and looking at the monitor, though. It's a little bit much. Oh, but to feed a polar bear, that's pretty cool. They're so cute. I, it would be great to have another baby. Remember Luna when she yes, was that a little, little baby? Ball? Yeah, it wasn't that long ago.